Hello everybody, welcome back to my Snow Runner hard mode playthrough. We are in the Step Pike. End of the last episode I did a contest that basically took my engine down to nine points of repair. And it's not great now because it turns out the only vehicle I had on this map that still had any repair points at all is my Land Rover that had 34 points. So I've chucked them in. And I'm now running at 44 points, but it does mean that I have a suspect engine and additional fuel consumption while I'm driving in this configuration with a broken engine. But nevertheless, I am going to push on. So I've positioned a couple, a couple of things off camera. Uh, let's get driving while I talk. So we're going to take the pike and hand in these two batches of fuel barrels because these are the last thing on this map from a task perspective and it'd be good to get that bit done and then this can go on to Grainwoods with this trailer and I've positioned some stuff uh, ahead of starting the recording because for some reason every single time that I load this save up it's midnight and I just don't want to start every episode in the dark. Um, so I'm nursing this a little bit. So I'm driving a bit slower because I don't want to destroy that engine anymore. So I'm kind of trying to drive a little bit defensive with that engine. But yeah, I just all I've done really is transfer the, the fuel barrels and wooden planks from the Touch of Force plus Red Trader into this and then move the force in position to be ready for um, crane work, crane duties. But I just thought it'd be easier to do that before starting the recording, basically. Rather than making you guys look watch through that in the dark. And obviously I've done the repair points as well out of the Land Rover. But that is the last repair point I've got on this map. And I can kind of see that maybe I should be buying service trailers to give me a decent amount of... If there isn't a resupply point on a particular map while I'm working there, maybe it's worth the cost of either buying a supply trailer or maybe bringing something like my a &K Civilian with its service add-on. So I can make sure that I come to a map fully supplied. I will certainly have to make sure I know where the service points are in Amur. The good thing is that finishing at Grainwoods on this map means that I will be fully fueled and re resupplied with all of the trucks before I put them in the garage because both fuel and repair points are convenient on that map. Let's just make sure I know where I'm going. So I've got to deliver them here. Thought I might come into the sawmill and then come across country so that I'm pointing in the right direction to unload them. Yeah, just nursing this a little bit. I don't want to go too mad because I don't want to do more engine damage. It's quite a sticky bit. Decent bit of forward leverage. When I was editing the last one, I did think that the uh, contest attempt which I got a bronze, but it was pretty clutch to be able to get to the end of that with this truck and nine points of engine remaining, or six or whatever it was. Pretty lucky. Hang on, that's not it. Where am I going here? No. No, it's not it at all. Oh, 
Handbrake's on. Cool. I think zagged when I should have zigged then. Wooden planks, as I've said last time. I'll just take them down and dump them in the rail reduction facility of Grainwoods. Steady. Won't gun it too much. Not a racetrack. Watch for that engine damage. I think when you take road damage, it's normally... Um, suspension and gearbox. Like there are suspension and tyres there. And that was a big old wallop that I might not have expected. Bit of random... Oh, hello. Hang on. Did I want to do this? Too late now, mate. You're committed. I think whichever way you look at it, it's, an in it's a climb up to the drop-off location. And at the moment, I think the impact of my engine being as damaged as it is, is more about fuel consumption than it is about power. Not like the other day when it was cutting out. a bit of tail movement to help me move forward a bit some of those useless winch points do seem to dig in this one's not so much doing that but some of them aren't quite as useless as they look well that's guzzled that fuel down mind that damaged engine I don't think any of these are going to be any good really wow that is now going through the fuel can't be leaking fuel because that would be the fuel tank. How quick that fuel's going down? That's mad. Yeah, I don't think this was the right route. We've got fuel in the roof, but I'm more worried now whether I've got enough to get to the garage. But like I say, whichever way you do it, this is a big incline you got to get up. I'm sure the ascent from the other side is almost as bad. I almost hope it is, because if it isn't, I've made a bad mistake. But I'm racing against fuel starvation at the minute. Right. Wow. Um, there must be a lack of power thing going on as well, but that was a bit more difficult than I thought. Right. Uh, I'm going to have to put the fuel from the roof in. Not enough, though, is it? Let's unpack the cargo. And then let's start the engine. Crane mode. Legs down. Deliver one, and then brain, get the other one on. Boo. Thanks a lot. We appreciate your help. Six grand. Not bad. Uh, restore the crane. Repack the wooden planks and let's go before I run out of fuel. All we're going to do is run this to the gateway. Not sure if this is the right route. 
avoid try and watch my engine. And I might as well get this to the garage, get it. Uh, well, I can repair it at the railway station. I may as well make this vehicle safe. Greenwoods River. We'll be here full time soon. The good news is pretty much road all the way. Bad news is I'm worried about my fuel. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was a... I said a few episodes ago that this doesn't seem to take a lot of damage compared to other trucks. Obviously the gaming gods heard me. There's a bigger wall up there. I think one of the main things I like about this truck, apart from the fact that it's just fast, is that engine noise. I think it's got a really good growl. Very pleasing. I am just going to drop these off and then leave this truck here for a minute because I don't have any reason at the moment there's nothing else in this episode I want to do so I can repair this later uh, so we're dropping off two lots of wooden planks please and this requires four planks and two beams to make one section of railway I need to make six sections yikes um, right okay so Back to the other map, and what we're going to do now, I was thinking, is jump into the Zix with its eight slot trailer, and we'll shift some cellulose. And the Tatra Force is parked up, ready to load me. And I guess these are pallets of cellulose. It looks like pallets of paper. I don't know why you would store pallets of paper outdoors like that. I don't know. You know all you can end up there with is paper mache, really, mate. But. We'll see if we can get this positioned close enough to the force. Just conscious of that red trailer being in the way. The force to get all eight slots loaded. We have to move the trailer in between the two. Oh, hello. Oh, that's handy. Not what I intended. All right, we'll see. See how the force does with loading that up. Finish truck. Start my engine. Train mode. Oh, janky camera, blimey. No. <laughs> well, let's load some cellulose onto the loading platform. Okay, it's not the same as the packet pallets that are laying around. This is blocks, is it? So it looks like boxes of A4 paper, doesn't it? But anyway, let's get eight of these loaded up.
feels quite heavy on the crane. I don't know if that's a, just an illusion. Right, I've got some bad camera jank going on. And we've got to do uh, 16 lots of this. Obviously, obviously two, two trips with this trailer. And this trailer has been one of my favourite features of this map. I know I used it more early doors than I did in the end when we were going over the all over the place. But for this type of mass cargo shifting, I really like it. Let's restore the crane anyway. And then change truck. Unpack, repack, eight slots done. So make sure we got a bit of fuel on the way past the horse. But now we just basically run this down the map twice. Taking it wide. Got, I've left a couple of obstacles in the way. Could almost do. Oh. <laughs> Land Rover's pushed out the way. So what I'm going to do, engine off. Let's move the obstacles, but I will take. Change truck into the Phoenix. Refuel. Nearly full, nearly empty. But I'll move the Phoenix out of the way. No sense leaving it right in the corner. I'll do. Change truck into the Zix. Let's see how we do. I want to take the defender with me, really, because it's going to go at some point. I'll see how I do with this load, and then if it's convenient, I'll grab the defender in the next trip. So this is a straight down the road job. Sounds like a fairly interesting new 8x8. I think it's going to be a Derry Longhorn. The Derry Longhorn. Um, at the moment on public test server it seems to have too small a fuel tank. But other than that generally the, what I'm hearing is it's quite positive. Could actually have a decent 8x8 US based truck. Nice to just have variety. So we're now finished on this map for all tasks, all contests, and technically all contracts except logging, because this is a contract where the delivery point is in the other map, so I think it would count against the other map's tally. And then, unlike most seasons, what I intend doing after this uh, eight-slot work is done which basically is two lots of cellulose and then one lot of metal beams. Uh, one trip of metal beams with four beams on it. Uh, when I've done all of that, I intend doing logging. And I think I'll probably do all of the logging completely. Get this map finished for logging completely. And then it'll be the Greenwoods Railway contracts and any tasks that I haven't done yet. Doesn't feel like a particularly heavy cargo. Truck's behaving itself quite well. I'm not sure if I want to do the off-road bit to get to the railway track to get into the railway station. I might end up taking this around. I will double check that it is the railway station, but that makes the most sense in terms of where to deliver it.
Let's get some lights on. We're coming into dark. Following objects cannot be safely placed on another map. It may cause collision problems. Continue anyway? You telling me that this big trailer can't go through the gateway. But I don't I don't want to lose the trailer. What what would happen if I I've just said yes. I want to see what happens. What do they mean? If that's deleted the trailer, that would be really annoying, wouldn't it? So I've got the trailer. And it's worked. Right, well, that was a bit of a rash gamble, mind, wasn't it? Stop here, engine off, look at the map. This is two choices. There's either, that's quite a muddy, treacherous little bit of road, but that's one option. The delivery point is on that side. Doesn't make much difference to this discussion, but. Or my usual, which would be to come here, bully my way across that little bit of grass follow the railway line down and then get in. I think I think I'll come this way for this trip and see how I do. Because I don't think I've ever actually driven that in a big truck. I might have only driven that trail in a scout. Let's see how the Zix coats are doing the long route. Because I'm a bit worried about trying to cross over that little bit of grass with this long trailer. I'm going to cut across that corner before that power pole just because I think getting this trailer around that power pole will be a bit of a nightmare. That's an easier route for this long trailer than messing about with the railway track. Right, so engine R. Eight slots of cellulose. Halfway there. Get myself back up, get loaded, do another run. And because it's dark, I hope you don't mind, 
but I will cut rather than time lapse because I also know that watching me drive in the dark isn't great either. So I will see you guys back in the other map um, and we'll do the drive back on camera with the cargo loaded but we'll avoid you having to watch me drive there in the dark. Right, here we are. Last pallet. I'll have cut to here partly to save you the having to watch it load in the dark but also because I had quite a lot of camera jankiness. It's quite difficult to position the camera in a way that's not janky around this factory. So yeah. Change trucks into the Zix. Pack my cargo. Eight slots of cellulose. Let's get it done. And that's basically about 20 minutes of footage of me driving and loading cranes in the dark that I think you guys can do without. Oh. And it'll make the editing a bit easier than trying to make dark footage viewable. Not quite wide enough. Thought I was, but obviously not. Yeah, that's a long way off. Can't really see what it is I'm trying to winch to. I'm thinking, no, nah, I'm not going to bother. I thought I might stick the Land Rover on a tow rope, but it's that far away. I won't be able to keep track of it properly. I'll tow it down with another vehicle. So yeah, this will be the last delivery of the episode. But it'll be nice to get that task. What's it called again, this task? Wisconsin Truck Trip. Should be plural, shouldn't it? Nobody's doing this in one trip. But it'd be nice to get that contract done and done. And then the Zix will have to come back up through the maps. I'm thinking it's going to be a bit tight to get this big trailer into the beams manufacturing place. So I may end up moving the beams with another truck. But I'd like to get them on this trailer, maybe around the garage area, and use this trailer for running them down through the map. So I may end up doing a little bit of shunting work with a crane-enabled four-slot rig up near the garage and then load them onto this and have this do the run down through the map but that'll be the start of the next episode remember to take that one a bit wider that time but i've been through here once before so i've chewed it up enough that the zix is struggling a little bit Right, here we are, Gateway. Quite a long slog, isn't it? Nice sunny morning, I guess it's still morning, in Greenwoods. Be quite a lot of time lapsing in this one because there's just uh, long drives without much to talk about so yeah this will have been quite time lapse heavy even with that big cut of the return drive in the dark
I won't bother filling up on the way in. I've still got a full roof. This isn't too thirsty a trip. I was kind of on autopilot then, nearly drove all the way past. But yeah, cut this corner again. Just makes sense. I suppose I should fill this up with repair points, shouldn't I, while I'm here? I'll do that before the return journey. really stuck on a rock there and take this as wide as I can yeah that was just that big rock okay here we go engine off don't expect there'll be a cutscene or anything, but I ate lots of cellulose. Paper factory constructed. Wisconsin truck trip. Well done. Great job. Here's your award. 17 and a half grand. Thank you very much. 284,000 in the bank. Blimey, we're getting rich. So that is going to be... The last thing we do in this episode. Just going to straighten this up so it's tidy and get it edited away this weekend. So I'm trying to get this one done, published. But fr I've, I've kind of forgotten myself whether my schedule is Fridays or Saturdays. Last couple of weeks, I think it's been the Saturday that I put Snow Run Alive. I might make this one Friday. Uh, and then I've got a satisfactory video already uploaded and queued up for Sunday. So. I will detach the trailer because I'm going to fill it with parts. And if I, if I detach the trailer, that will remind me that next time I play, I'll take this around the corner, fill it up with spare parts. And that Kodiak is almost full as well. So I'll free fuel while I'm there. But that is going to be a wrap for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you in the next one. But in the meantime, thanks and goodbye.